I welcome you all on platform of your PD education and uh, I'm going to discuss with you very good option and opportunity of higher education abroad. You know, I always say uh, students not to go for MS abroad. That may look uh, negative or odd to you, but I normally tell, uh, tell students that after BTEC, you should not go uh, to MS abroad. And uh, I tell them that you do masters in India and then go abroad. There are some benefits of that and I always say that. Number one, after BTEC, if you go to MS abroad, even if you get scholarship or if you get, uh, let's say, some kind of uh, fees uh, rebate or something, even then it will cost you huge. So my my uh, average estimation is abroad mein tumhe 25 se 30 lakh rupaya expenditure lagega. You need to show these things in your accounts and you need to spend money even if you get scholarship. That pay that basically is a heavy amount which goes out of the pockets of our parents. So uh, it is far better to pursue masters from India and then go abroad for uh, for uh, PhD. Now uh, there are certain things which I want to tell you very clearly. Number one, if you ask me, sir, if we go after MTech to PhD abroad, how much it will cost us? My answer is. It will cost you 2 to 2.5 lakh maximum including the application fees, uh, visa fees, going airfare and certain expenditure there when you land up there. After that obviously you are not to spend and you start getting scholarship like in India MTech Kelly scholarship is 12,400 but PhD mate is 25,000, 30,000 so almost the scholarship is double. Now suppose your expenditure in US is $800 thousand dollar but you are getting twenty one hundred dollar as scholarship you land up saving thousand dollars that is a huge amount in Indian currency that is as good as salary of PSU you know seventy eighty thousand you save but sir I have a, I cannot go for now more education I don't want to do PhD I have already studied a lot answer to that is after I'm saying you go there for PhD but you know there's a very good thing over there even if you go there for PhD, you get visa for many years and after two years, you can convert your PhD into MS degree. You are getting scholarship of PhD and then you are converting that into MS and the probability of getting very good university in PhD is far more than getting very good university for MS. Listen again, probability of getting very good university for PhD after MTech to PhD is far more than probability of getting very good university for MS because as you know, in India also, it is far more difficult to get into BTEC in IIT than MTEC than PhD. It is how it is going. Competition is far more for graduation than masters and the free PhD. So you land up uh, in very good university and if you are in very good university, something like MIT, then uh, you your branding is good and then you land up in very good job also during your internship after two years then you can convert your PhD into part-time PhD or you can convert that into MS and get into job. So this is the indirect way of not spending money, landing up in a very good university and uh, extended period of visa. Only thing you need to be patient to pursue your masters from India. You need to be patient for that. So do it from India. You should be patient enough to pursue your masters from India. And there's another advantage also. Suppose your BTEC may your CGP is not that good. Let's say your CGP is less than eight. Then you have another chance to do your masters and get very good CGPA more than eight. Let's say nine CGP or something. And then GRE score required is only one of the criteria. So these are added advantage of do, uh, doing that. Plus research proposal is something which in PhD matters a lot. So those of you who are already sitting in MTech and they are doing MTech from let's say IITs or NITs or ISCs, they stand very good chance to land up in those universities, those foreign universities. And maybe actually uh, foreign universities, US universities may bohut difference nahi dalte hain ki aapne NIT se MTech kiya hai, IIT se kiya hai, IIC se kiya hai, ya aapne aur kisi college se kiya hai. All they see is your MTech CGPA, research proposal, statement of purpose, letter of recommendations, GRE score, I let's see a TOEFL score. This is all they'd see and obviously your interaction with the professor whom you mail in which domain you are applying. Plus you have to apply in five to 10 places. So in my opinion, those of you who are MTech already and have inclination for going abroad, they should seriously take it because that is the best opportunity and best option available with you. 
all you should try is to get really good score two thousand dollar plus you should try to get it now your pd education has mentors all over the world and your pd education can help you in that obviously uh, you know this is the largest platform counseling platform consultancy platform where uh, starting from identification of your research domain on the basis of your interest and your thesis master's thesis we will identify that which university which professor suits your research and then we'll help you drop mail to that professor and suppose you drop mail to 20 professor let's say 10 out of the 20 professor or 4 out of 20 professor uh, give you positive uh, op, uh, positive reply then it makes sense to apply in those universities and once you apply in those university your selection probability increases so identification of the research domain identification of the professor and how to well go well prepared those universities and how to do really good in that phd course that is the domain of your pd education and our mentors are going to guide you for that so my request to all the students who are in mtech and they are targeting abroad you know uh, we have already started the process of mtech into phd in iits in india but if you're targeting abroad uh, all you need to spend is uh, 2 to 2.5 lakh rupees if you have that in your uh, pocket and uh, if you uh, really want to go abroad and have a really good career spend two more years into research and studies and land up in that particular countries you should try now and this is not only for us but this is for other countries also like uh, european countries german and all and other countries like australia new zealand singapore uh, canada all these uh, countries club together there are some uh, three to four hundred good universities <coughs> which you can go including scandinavian countries where you can pursue your research or you can pursue your phd or doctorate or ms uh, abroad but probability and best um, domain is after i'm to phd that is what you should try to do okay now if you are interested for that i am attaching a google form only serious candidate that is my request to you earlier also uh, only serious candidate must apply must fill the google form those who want to go for phd abroad after their masters even if you are in first semester second semester of mtech this is the high time you need to prepare because you have to write gre also you have to identify the research domain also so your pda consultant is going to help you from the very beginning that this is the research domain you should pursue because there is a scope for this uh, domain and uh, this is the professor you should try to mail and this is the mail you should drop him something like that we are going to uh, help you in that entire process so even if you are in first year semester second year semester you have already done uh, mtech you are already teaching after mtech you are already doing job after mtech you are in some industry but you have done mtech so all those students who are desirous who is having desire to go abroad they please fill this form and uh, we'll get back to you fine thank you